I think what I have found incredible is that the starting point that I, that I was introduced to open intelligence, which I'll, I'll give a simple introduction, has been useful for me, whether it's my first time here or, or whether it's um, my time here um, being six years down the track. Because what is um, amazing about this introduction is that that's all that is required. And so this simple introduction introduces us to our always-on beneficial mind where our, everything that we can perceive, so all of this, these thoughts, these emotions, these sensations, everything that we can experience, we simply find announces our beneficial mind and confirms our beneficial mind. And th to know this beneficial mind, uh, we can s just simply title it as open intelligence, this open and expansive intelligence. And to know this, just simply stop thinking and see what remains. See what remains about you right now. What remains regardless of whether you're thinking quite intellectual thoughts, lofty thoughts, dirty thoughts, or whether you think that you have succeeded in stopping thoughts, <laughs> or whatever you find your experience is, see that there is something about you that is unchanging. So in our seats today, we can take up the invitation to test this out. In our seats today, we, we just offer an invitation again and again to bring open intelligence to your everyday life experience, which is something that is, I found was so precious. Bringing open intelligence to my everyday life experience, my, my family life, my intimate relationships, my friends, uh, my work, my career, my goals, my aspirations, bringing open intelligence to these areas that I once thought were, were mostly dominated by uh, my con confusion, tension, instability, occasional times of clarity and happiness, but mostly dominated and, and led around by this sense of something not being complete, something not being totally right. And so to go back to this introduction to open intelligence, we see that there is open intelligence and these experiences that we have, we can simply term data, just to keep it very simple. So all of this data running, <laughs> data streaming, we see, we can directly experience right now. And I was given the invitation to rely on open intelligence for short moments, many times, and to repeat that spontaneously throughout my day. This is the one and only simple practice you'll hear here. This one and only simple practice. And what I started to see was that the, the beautiful teaching that I was hearing, the beautiful words that were being shared, uh, gradually started to become my, my direct experience. For instance, something like uh, all thoughts and emotions and sensations are like the appearance of a rainbow in space. I, 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 I found immediate benefit in hearing that. That all of these things that I was perceiving, all of my deepest worries, concerns, my, my hopes and aspirations, uh, can be likened to this rainbow in space. So vividly present and yet inseparable from this perfect, clear, flawless, totally uh, expansive space itself. So all of my appearances are inseparable from, from perfection. This was something new about me that I wasn't uh, familiar with and I was invited to to really test out in my own experience to really look into my own experience and see whether it's like that or not and sure I, I found that there were some sensations that 
uh, in the beginning, some thoughts in the beginning that I, I thought just cannot be uh, allowed to be as they are. They cannot be perfect. They must change and I must need to do something about them to change them. And then slowly and gradually there was a an incredible support structure provided to, to see that in my day-to-day -day life experience these incredible metaphors, these incre this incredible teaching started to be a lived, a lived reality where I would be in situations where it seemed very, very frustrating and my frustration I would normally like to speak about that a lot or, or um, actually I would generally like to hide away from the situation and just not, not experience that at all. And so that, they, were, they were my mechanisms to really keep in place uh, positive perceptions and positive experiences and, and um, really trying to keep the, those appearances as, as good and as, um, yeah, as good looking as possible. And so to, to start to see that I didn't have to have my experience look any certain way to find an incredible relief and an incredible freedom. This was so amazing because I, I saw myself as, you know, quite a, a young person and uh, someone that, I, I mean, I know it's the case for everyone that we have lots of choices and lots of things coming down the line. I saw many things w w are coming down the line for me, whether it's um, um, sickness, illness in myself or in friends and family whether it was um, big life decisions as to where I want to really direct my, my uh, time and how I want to actually use my, my precious, precious life. I saw many of these decisions and I didn't feel capable with the education that I had received to make these. And, and so I, I went about with this underlying uncertainty of when these were going to pop up, when these were going to... Uh, uh, yeah, just su surprise me. And so to find that there was this, this relief that was available in each and every circumstance, it started to free me up to be totally confident and totally assured in each and every circumstance. And, and uh, how I became assured in this I started to see that I could become assured uh, on the fly in everyday life experiences, utilizing uh, the, the technique of short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. So simple. Short moments of just seeing that this always on open intelligence is always here. And so I asked you before to test, you, test it in your own experience and we can test it again right now. A short moment of open intelligence. What's always on and alert and cognizant about us? We can see right now there's been so many different sensations and thoughts and emotions come and go since my last time I asked that question. Just a few minutes ago in, from this meeting. So many different things, so many different, a myriad of different experiences. And what I see is that I could, I simply just cannot hold on to any of them. They all self-release like this, this uh, the flight path of a bird in the sky. And to know this about myself was so freeing. To know this, that I started to see that actually I was gaining a complete assurance in open intelligence in the Four Mainstays and I was also gaining a complete assurance in day-to-day -day life. And that complete assurance looked like knowing that when I go back home to my family next week that I know fundamentally how to act in a totally respectful way, that I know fundamentally how to love myself fully and, and uh, share love and appreciation. This was something that I really wanted, but I just could not do. There was all, always those times where there was just those um, buttons, those special combination of buttons were pressed and, and uh, 
I fell apart or or um, did those uh, responded in that certain way or did those other things that I just would regret. And so this assurance that I that I share about it it it, it comes about like I see it now as just as completely assured as though we can sit around and think about um, like a, you, you, would, you could make it similar to a bird sitting on its branch and, and considering whether it's going to fly and looking at its wings and, and just sitting there and okay there's lots of other birds out there flying and, and um, just hanging out in the tree and uh, maybe if I think about this a bit more I'll be able to fly too and um, maybe if I have that special experience down the line, that will, that will um, graduate me to the flying class, to the people that can fly. Uh, maybe I have to be a certain, certain someone with a, maybe a long beard. Um, now I'm going to people, but let's, let's stay back with the bird. Maybe I have to have those special feathers and um, that, that shiny gold feather to fly. And, and, and yet, this bird jumps off the branch and sees that it just flies and there's total assurance there. And there's no doubting that. There's no going back to those doubts and those concerns and those, that confusion. And I just see that in, my, in relation to my own experience. Being in everyday ordinary life situations, being an, an, an idiot simultaneous to relying on open intelligence and seeing, wow, okay, I'm flying here. I'm utilizing open intelligence and I'm seeing my perfect beneficial nature and I'm completely assured of that. This uh, just cut the root of all confusion, all of that um, worry and concern <coughs> that maybe someday down the line I'm going to be in that situation that I just can't handle. Though that type of um, relationship with life is just not... not um, it's just not my relationship anymore with life. I see that no matter what is coming down the line, there is an incredible support structure that is supporting me to always fly at my optimal best. And it's, it's unwavering, actually. There's so many different um, talks and... and um, sentences about allowing everything to be as it is and about our perfect nature and what I found was it was it was only when I came to balance view and to the four mainstays that there was a support structure to make this my direct reality my direct reality without any question about it so the the support structure that I'm speaking of is short moments of open intelligence, test it out again, right now. Check it out in your own experience. Short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, spontaneously throughout your day. A trainer, someone to ask questions to, to, to see in your own experience how to, to clarify things on the fly, to customize open intelligence in your own experience and to bring it fully alive, fully real and fully evident. A training, the training media, beautiful metaphors like I've shared with you today, an unending supply of this where I just see that these, these metaphors are so enriching where I can just, I can just listen to them on repeat and, and feel so contributed to and uh, so totally um, benefited. And there is a community that exemplify this, those birds flying out in the sky that I shared with you before, looking at everyone, wow, everyone is, is, is flying here, is their optimal, optimal best. It actually works. I can do that too. That's what my experience of the community was. People were doing it and so it's, it's so easy to say, okay, everyone is doing it, I can do it too. And so that's what the community is here for.